Hi, I'm Lucy Alexander with AICHE, and I'm here with Rob Martinson from Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Rob, can you talk about the presentation you gave about um, Lemnaceae? Sure. So I'm a plant biologist, and plants represent the oldest and still probably the most efficient air capture device on the planet. Uh, we work with aquatic plants in the genus Lemnaceae. These are common duckweeds. And you can find them growing pretty much anywhere. Uh, they are some of the fastest growing plants on the planet, even though they're the smallest. Uh, and they bud from each other, so they, they actually grow clonally um, as, as clones. Uh, we are trying to uh, use this really enhanced growth rate to convert the starch that they accumulate into oil. Uh, and, and we've had some success doing this by using genetic engineering te techniques that we've developed. Uh, in terms of the bigger picture, you know, I think uh, what I've learned at this conference is that uh, being able to increase carbon dioxide levels in the growth conditions could ma massively uh, help in our goal to make oil. And so uh, some of the other speakers in, in, in the panel actually had some really exciting technology that uh, allowed higher levels of carbon dioxide to actually reduce the loss of water. The big problem with aquatic plants, of course, which everybody always criticizes, is they need a lot of water. But in a closed system where you add a lot of carbon dioxide, this could really help. Uh, so we're very, we're very excited about that. So is this a collaboration you're going to look into? Yes, absolutely. So Tim, who was speaking in the same panel, is actually going to come to my lab tomorrow. <laughs> and we're really going to talk about this in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a really uh, you know, economic uh, as well as scientific way. So it's going to be really fun. Excellent. And um, so what kind of opportunities and limitations do, does duckweed provide in terms of mitigating um, you know, carbon, carbon emissions? The, the big opportunity is that it's, it's very efficient photosynthetically, it's a very good you know, uh, sink for carbon, uh, and it grows extremely fast, which is something that is, is its major advantage. It also doesn't have any uh, lignin and other sorts of uh, uh, pollutants, which otherwise are a big problem for other plants, because it doesn't have any branches or leaves or anything like that, so it's really a little, little bundle of starch. Um, the, the downside is that to persuade it to grow oil, make oil, which we've done, uh, reduces the growth rate. And so what I'm hoping is that by increasing carbon dioxide levels, we can actually get the growth rate to go back up again. So uh, there are definitely limitations to how this works. It's, it's in many ways resembles algae in, in, in its uh, utilization, uh, and algae has problems too. Um, so I think by, by using the experience of people who've used algae to make oil, uh, we can we can really get somewhere with, with duckweeds. Uh, it's actually being used uh, for, for hundreds of years as, as animal feed and, and in, uh, in, in sort of closed uh, recycling systems with fish farms in places like Bangladesh. Uh, and it's, it's actually had quite a lot of interest from uh, waste water management uh, people in places like Australia. And by using really low cost inputs like agricultural or municipal wastewater, we're hoping to be able to you know, really get some economic efficiency out of this. Um, in one slightly more speculative uh, and, and interesting development, we've, we've also been able to persuade NASA to take some interest in growing duckweed uh, off-world, <laughs> um, which we're actually quite excited about. We don't know yet if we've got funding, but, uh, uh, but we did uh, put up an experiment. We want to put up an experiment in the ISS, the International Space Station, you know, to look at the feasibility of growing it in space, because obviously these, these closed systems are perfect for, uh, for off-world environments. Wow, <laughs> that was exciting. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to add uh, about the conference in general? Uh, it was, it's a wonderful conference. I don't normally come to this sort of conference, and, and it's the first time I've really seen the, what the technology has to offer, and it's very exciting. I had no idea it could come as far as it has. So this air capture, you know, as well as power plant, uh, carbon recycling, has really come a long way. And, and in terms of you know, developing biofuels, which is my side of the equation, I think the synergism is huge. And it's, it's, it's a very exciting time to be in this field. Great. Well, I hope to see you at the next conferences, too. Thank sure. you. Okay.